Hey, I'm Jamie, and uh, just gonna make a quick video here of my uh, winter gear I'll be using this winter. Um, so here we go. Let's see. Let's start off with the outside of the pack. I'll start from top and go down. All right. So on the top, this well, let's start off with the pack. This is the uh, Hyperlite Mountain Gear 2400 Wind Rider Pack, and I've had it for about I guess about a year now. And it's a it's a really good pack. Um, I'm kind of worried about winter though, is that it's not a very large pack, but it's holding everything pretty well. Um, I don't actually have all of my um, food in here yet, but it will it'll go up a little, a little higher. Uh, there's the back part of it, and I'll turn around. Here's the front. I've got a little uh, Z Packs water bottle holder here. Oh yeah, let me go get my water bottle so I can show you. Hang on a second, be right back. Okay, all right, I got my water bottle. My wife just bought it from Publix. I threw my other ones away, but anyway, so, oh yeah, here we go. So, I, I usually just use like a, this is really all the water I carry when I'm hiking. Uh, I do most of my hiking in the Smokies and there's like water everywhere. So, um, I usually only carry a 700 milliliter water water bottle. When that's gone, I just I camel up, or drink a whole bottle, and fill fill another one to last me till the next water. So that's the that's the water bottle holder made by Z Packs. Um, so there's smart water bottle, and then over here I have this little thing here. Book what on there. This holds my uh, cell phone. Um, I'm actually recording the video with cell phones, so I can't show you, but it just slides right on in there. And then I have a little uh, Garmin InReach Mini. I basically use that just to uh, text my family when there's no cell phone service. Um, so that's the that's this part of the pack. And then we'll spin it around to this side. Uh, on the top, I always carry like a little foam pad just to kind of like, I like to lay it on the ground and kind of organize my gear on it. Uh, if I'm dressing, I can use it to stand on to, um, so I don't get leaves all over my feet. And I actually take this when I take a dump out in the woods too, because when I take a dump, I take all of my clothes off. So I'll kind of lay that out, put my clothes and have something to stand on while I'm taking a dump out in the woods. I'm one of those weird people. I have to be completely naked to take a dump. So if you're out in the back country, you see a naked man out in the woods, it's probably me. All right, so um, next thing is my chair. This is the Helionox Chair Zero. I love having a chair on the trail. It's just awesome. I had some through hikers making fun of me in my section hike this year. And I said, and I said well, I said, the reason you guys don't have a chair is because you're through hikers. I'm not, so there's my chair. All right, so over here are my tent poles. I have a Nemo Dragonfly two-person tent. Here's the tent poles. I keep them in the side here. I carry an umbrella, Six Moon Designs umbrella. I love it. All right, and back here, I usually keep a rain jacket. This is the Outdoor Research Helium 2 rain jacket. It'll fold up into its own pocket, but that's my rain jacket. If you just wear this straight up in the rain, you're gonna get soaking wet. That's why I bring the um, umbrella, but that kind of keeps the white stuff off of you. And then I bring this little um, selfie stick. For my phone, your phone will clip in there. And it also will turn into like a little tripod too. I got it off Amazon. It's like, it's really light. I think it only weighs like, oh yeah, it weighs 4.5 ounces. So I'll carry that with me. Um, okay, so here I always keep, this is just the rain fly to my uh, Nemo Dragonfly. Uh, two-person tent just the rain fly in here because usually when I'm when I'm out hiking and it 
pours down the rain, this thing is soaking wet, so I don't want to put it in my pack and get everything wet. So I just stick it back here and it'll kind of dry out in the back. Uh, I always bring a few Ziploc bags for garbage or what have you. Um, this here is my poop kit. A little bit of toilet paper and a little uh, shovel to dig holes. And I bring that. Uh, what else we got here? There's my spoon. A little long handled polished gold spoon. Um, this here is like my water kit. All right, so I keep it in this bag right here. And I, when I get to camp, I'll go down and get water. And I think it's like two liters maybe. Yeah, two liters C knock water bag. And then I bring a Sawyer squeeze. And so you fill this up with water. You screw the Sawyer on and then you just kind of roll the water into your bottle or your mouth or wherever you want to put it. So Sawyer squeeze, uh, C knock water bag. And uh, oh yeah, in the winter time, I bring these. I think they're, yeah, outdoor research rain mitts. So I'll put my regular gloves on and then stick them in here. That way my hands stay dry and warm. Keeps them a little warm too. All right, so what else here? Oh yeah, over on this side, I keep, uh, this is my uh, alcohol stove. This is denatured alcohol. This is just for my alcohol stove. I like alcohol stoves. And I, I'm, this next trip I'm going on is a four, four day, three night trip. So I'll probably use all of that. And this little bottle here, it's going to be winter time. So the trick with alcohol stoves in the winter, you want to keep the alcohol warm. So if I know I'm going to be cooking soon, I'll, I'll pour this in here and then I'll put this down in my jacket against my body and get the alcohol warm. That way it works. A lot of people don't like alcohol stoves in the winter, but I found a little trick. As long as you keep the alcohol warm, it will actually work. Canister stoves for me don't work in the winter. The little can freezes up and it barely comes out. I, I prefer alcohol all year actually. So that's it in the pockets. Oh yeah, the hip pockets. This side, I keep my gloves. It's just a little pair of mountain hardware gloves with the little touch screen pads on the fingers. And that's all I keep in that pocket. On this side, I keep uh, my wallet, which all I keep in my wallet is a key to my Forerunner. I keep driver's license and my debit card and maybe a little bit of cash. And in the Smokies, I'll put my permit in there because you have to have a backcountry permit in the Smokies, which is usually where I'm backpacking. Uh, I also keep my headlamp. It's a black diamond headlamp. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's the spot. But there's my headlamp. I keep that in there. And then the only other thing I keep is, oh yeah, I keep a pic little picture of, my, of me when I was little with my brother and sister. I like to keep that in there for good luck. And then I keep my uh, little Swiss Army knife. It's got a little knife, a little nail file with a flathead screwdriver on the top. And on this side, it's what I usually use is these scissors, a little pair of scissors. Okay, all right. All right, so I think that's it uh, on the outside here. So let's see what's in the other part here. All right, just gonna pop that loose there. All right, so at the very top, I'll keep my food bag. I don't have much food in here right now, but this is my food bag. Uh, it's not the D, uh, the Z-Packs actual food bag, but it's just a big uh, Z-Packs Dyneema bag. And then in here, I keep um, Another little bag that I'll put a rock in to throw over a limbs to hang in my bear bag. And I've got some um, 
cordage in there with a carabiner. Gonna keep that in here. All right. All right, next. Oh yeah, this is cool. Here's my cook system. All right, so this is uh, the Tokes 750 milliliter cook pot. And inside, I have a little bandana in there. So you open the bandana and then I have a lighter and then I have my Tokes alcohol stove right there. And then also I have a little windscreen. So that is what I use to cook. And that's my favorite. Kind of gotten away from the, the canister stove. I do have the pocket rocket too, but I just, I hate hearing it. I can't stand that, you know. So I do, when I'm solo hiking, I don't have to hear all that, that sound. All right, all right, so in this, this next thing here is a little Dyneema bag that I actually put my tent body in. So I don't want it to get wet. It's the uh, Nemo Dragonfly two-person tent. I keep that in this little Dyneema bag. Separate from the Rainfly. All right, next. Oh yeah, this here is my Diddy bag. And I got some different things in here. I got my iWatch charger, phone charger, some Aleve. I got some uh, Benadryl. I've got uh, a vape charger, headphones, uh, some butt cream called uh, butt butter. So when you take a dump and you don't wipe good and your asshole gets all shaped out, you just stick back back there and you just put it up in there and you're good. This here is the charger for, um, oh yeah, this charger for my InReach Mini there. Some fingernail clippers, which I need to cut my fingernails. <laughs> uh, repair kit for my uh, Thermarest with some extra O-rings for the Sawyer. Right there. Mold skin, a little piece of gauze, alcohol pad, a band-aid, a little antiseptic towel, another band-aid, some extra batteries for my headlamp, some nail sporin, and another alcohol pad. So that's it. I'll just kind of push that off and pack it up later. All right, what do we got next here? Oh yeah, this is uh, my battery bank. So this is the uh, Anchor 20,000 milliamp battery bank because I've charged my InReach Mini, my iWatch, my uh, headlamp, my phone, and I usually, those li uh, little ones, I, they run out so fast. This one will last me good anywhere from four to seven days easily. All right, next is my little poetries bag. And in here, contact solution, a little bottle there. And I've got uh, my old uh, glasses. I don't bring my new ones, my old ones. Contact case. And I'll usually keep an extra pair of like the disposable contacts. I don't have any right now, but in case these fall out or whatever. A little bit of toothpaste little toothbrush and floss that's it my toiletry bag all right let's see what else we got in here all right now everything else is in a plastic bag see those plastic bags of stuff i do not want to get wet i put that down in my backpack because all this stuff i don't want to get wet First thing is my little Sea to Summit pillow. It's the large. You just fold it out and you blow it up. It's nice and soft. And there's some of my dried snot on there. If you want to get a good look at that. And so a nice soft pillow. I love that. 
This here is my uh, down jacket. It's the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer jacket. It just folds up nice and light. And the reason I got that creepy color is because that's the only one that was on sale. All right, there's that. Oh yeah, now these are, I just got, I haven't tried these out yet, but these are the Enlightened Equipment Torrid Puffy Pants. Yep, I got the black. And then inside is purple. So at camp, I only wear these at camp sitting around. I like part, you know, in backpacking, a lot of people like to do those huge miles from sun up till sundown, but I like to do shorter trips to hang out in camp. So I spend a lot of time in camp and in the winter, I'm going to want some um, warm pants. There they are. Uh, next, oh yeah, here's my camp clothes. Let's pop these bad boys open. I keep them in this uh, Dyneema bag to keep them because you don't want these to get wet if you get these wet it's time to pack your stuff up and head back to the car especially in the winter time all right i carry a pair of darn tough socks a pair of wool just thick wool socks i've got a little z packs hood uh down hood because i I use a quilt instead of a sleeping bag, so I don't have a thing to go over my head, so I just put this little hood on. And I'll show you how it works. You just stick it on your head and get your little face, little face sticking out. All right. So there's my little down hood. I got my head so big, I can't get it off. <laughs> All right, so, oh yeah. All right, next is, oh yeah, okay. All right, so I'll show you how I'll put all this on. So when I get to camp, I'm gonna put, take all my clothes off, wet clothes off, and put on some smart wool boxers. And then I'm gonna put on this little uh, Patagonia Kathleen t-shirt. Cause I don't like the way that wool feels on the itches. So I put this on under the wool. And then I've got a smart wool 250 long sleeve and it itches me. So that's why I put the t-shirt on under it. And then I've got the smart wool pants. I think they're the 150 weight. Put those on. Then I put shorts on over that because I don't think people want to look at my pecker sticking sticking through the uh, tight smart wool pants. So I used to put some these uh, North Face shorts, and they had burn holes all in there from campfires and that sort of thing. <laughs> all my stuff is like full of burn holes. And that's it. That's all for my camp clothes right there. Put it all in that bag. All right, next. It, okay, so this is a winter trip, and I have two Enlightened Equipment quilts. I have a 20 degree and a 40 degree, and this next trip we're going is supposed to get down to like the single digits. So, I've never done this, but I'm going to try it. I'm bringing two quilts. I'm bringing my 40 degree Enlightened Equipment quilt. Here's the 40 degree. I got the purple and black color. So there's the 40 degree. And then also I have a 20 degree. Here's the 20 degree, I'm carrying both. Here's the 20 degree. So I'll put the 20 degree first. And then I'll put this 40 degree on top of that and there's the little straps that tie up that tie it to the sleeping pad and for our sleeping pad I have this uh, thermo thermo rest 
Neo Air X Lite. I got. I'm a pretty large man, so I had to get the biggest one they got. It, it's the long, wide one. Uh, it weighs like on the internet it says 16 ounces, but I weighed it without the stuff sack and the blow up bag, and it weighs like 15 ounces. So there's that, and that is everything that's in my bag. So now I'm going to show you what I'm going to actually be hiking in. All right, so come over here and shoot from this way. All right, this is what I'll actually be hiking in. All right, so base layer is this REI merino wool long sleeve. Over that, I'm going to uh, put on this uh, Patagonia hike tee. Or actually, I'll probably put that under because wool itches me. So I'll put this under, this on top of that. And then I'll put on these, um, there we go, Patagonia thermal pants. And then over that, I'll put some of these Patagonia Nine Trails hiking shorts. And I love these shorts because they have zippers. On this up for the pockets and I can put my phone and all that in there and zip them up and down so those will go over the Patagonia thermal bottoms and then over all that I will be wearing it's like an Arc'teryx fleece with a hood on it I'll be wearing that over my shirts and then over the pants, over the thermal bottoms, I'm wearing these outdoor research. They're like snow pants, pretty much. They're really warm. Outdoor research um, pants, snow pants. And then I'll have outdoor research gaiters to keep the snow out of my boots. And then for a jacket, I just got this, uh, Outdoor research, little lightweight jacket. I didn't want a thick jacket because I get really hot when I hike. And this is not too, it's not too thick. It's pretty thin. All right. And then I'll be wearing these boots. These are the uh, Lone Peak 4.5 uh, high tops. I like wearing high tops in the winter. And these are actually waterproof. I don't, I usually don't wear waterproof unless I'm hiking in the snow in the winter time. Otherwise I'm just wearing the low top, um, ultra long peak. So that way they, if they get wet, they can dry out quicker, but I do wear waterproof in the, uh, winter. So there's my boot, winter boots. And here's my trekking poles, the black diamond Alpine trekking poles. Uh, I haven't had these very long, but uh, I'm going to give them a try. And I also got, the, depending on how much snow, I'm going to have the snow baskets on there. So anyway, there's my gear, my big old pile of gear uh, for this winter. And I'm going on my first trip um, this coming Thursday. We're going, uh, my brother and I are going to start at Davenport Gap on the AT and climb uh, Mount Camerer staying at the Cosby Knob Shelter. Then we're gonna backpack down and stay at Campsite 37 and then climb Mount Sterling and stay at the campsite there. And then one more night down at lower elevation. So it's supposed to be cold, highs in the 30s, 40s, lows in the 20s and teens. And I think one night supposed to get up in the single digits at the high elevation. So I'm looking forward to trying out my winter gear but thanks for watching. Have a good day.